Good morning, Monroe. Today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020, and I have news. Mrs. Ward is getting old, and she forgot a birthday yesterday. So happy birthday to Danny in fifth grade. His birthday was Monday, May 4th. Happy birthday, Danny. We're also continuing to celebrate Teacher Appreciation Week. So reach out to your teachers and make sure you say thank you. And make sure you say thank you to your parents right now who are also acting as your teachers. Today's lineup includes some more carnival spring fair type games. First up, we have the Gibson boys. Then we're gonna check in with the Staley family. They're gonna do guess the weight, tips from Mrs. Boyd, and of course, a joke of the day with Miss Jill. As always, friends, be kind and leave a legacy. I will see you tomorrow. Hello, it's, it's the, the Gibsons, Gibsons, Bradley, and Jacob. We miss you. So we were asked to make up a carnival game, so we made up Knock Down the Cups. For this game, you're gonna need someone else to play with, something to throw at the cups, and about 12 cups. So now me and Jacob are gonna get started. Daily family. Today, for our carnival game, we are going to do guess the weight. Today, we are going to weigh Calypso or tortoise. You will need a scale, of paper, and a pen, and something to weigh. If you are the closest without going over, you will earn a high five. So, what we think she weighs. This is mine. I think it is one pound and nine ounces. Mm -hmm. I, this is mine. I think Calypso is two pounds and one ounce. I think that Calypso is three pounds and eight ounces. And I guess that Calypso is two pounds and four ounces. All right, here we go. The big reveal. Calypso is two pounds and eight ounces. Now, who gets a high five? Let's go, Iggy! Iggy in second Iggy place. In second place. And who gets the double high five, Ellie? Daddy! Yay. Iggy! All right. Okay, we hope you liked our carnival game. Bye! Mrs. Boyd here, and I've got Mr. Boyd. Mr. Boyd's here, and he's going to help me with today's video. So, for the helpful tips this week, we are looking at the theme of carnivals. And so, I decided to take your favorite carnival foods, and we're going to do it so that you can make them at home. So, the first one is a frozen banana covered in chocolate with peanuts. If you've ever done that, you can actually do it at home very easily. You can take the whole banana and put it in the freezer or you can chunk it up and have little pieces and that's what we're gonna do. So, you're gonna grab a bowl and I'm gonna put a couple bananas in there for Mr. Boyd and he's gonna take the chocolate sauce and you're gonna pour that a little bit over top. Very good. And then we're gonna sprinkle on some peanuts. 
and very easily you have a chocolate covered banana with peanuts. Now, the other thing we do are apples. So at the carnival, have you ever had one of those candy apples? Well, I can't really do candy at home very well, but I can do caramel and I can do peanut butter. So, Mr. Boyd is going to use this tool for us to core out the apple and have pieces. Put that in the compost and now we have a bunch of pieces of apples here. So very similar to the banana, you just take a bowl and you put a couple pieces of apple in there, as many as you would like, and you can top it with some caramel sauce, homemade or out of the bottle. My favorite. It is his favorite. He's not a chocolate fan. He likes caramel. All right, and then you can top it with any sort of um, ingredients and toppings you wish. So we have some more of our nuts that you could throw on top. We also have these mini chocolate chips. These are our kids' favorites, so we usually put some of them on to these uh, delicious treats. So this one is caramel apple with peanuts. And then we can do another one. And Mr. Boy's gonna put in some more apples, and he's gonna take a scoop of peanut butter and put it on top of this one. Apples are a good spoon. And then again, throw some nuts on there, or you can throw some peanuts, and you have another treat. You can also, of course, do chocolate hazelnut spread and marshmallow. That's yummy. It's almost like a s'more if you use it with the apples and stuff. So all sorts of different things you can do and still have fun with a carnival at home. And don't forget to drink your water. Stay healthy, stay safe, Monroe. Say bye, Mr. Boyd. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay home. Bye. Hi again, Monroe. Mrs. Boyd here. And McKenna and I are gonna show you how you can make your own ring toss game at home. So here's McKenna, and we set up the water bottles, um, sort of like the ring toss game that we play at the Spring Fair. And she's going to play the ring toss game. Go ahead, McKenna. Good try. <laughs> Good job. Hey, she made it. Good job. Hello, Monroe. Miss Jill here. Joke of the day. Where do cows, eggs, and chickens go for fun? They go to the barnacle. Bye, Monroe.